Kid Fixer. Today we're going to be talking about how to fix an HP fan that is making a lot of noise or not working correctly. You're going to need two tools. You're going to need a pry tool and a screwdriver. Uh, by the way, I'm an HP certified technician, so I'm going to show you the actual process I would do if I was working on an HP with this problem. First of all, make sure that your HP is unplugged and that the battery is removed. As a side note, if you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share. Also, you can leave a comment down below and a HP certified technician will respond to you. All right, first thing, we're going to take off the screws. Now, I know this seems like a lot of work, but your fan not working properly is a big deal because your fan keeps your motherboard and all those components inside your computer cool. Uh, also, if you are concerned about a computer overheating in general, uh, you know, a cooling pad's never a bad idea. Okay, so I'm taking all the screws in this particular model. I have to remove the feet to take the, some of the screws off. Uh, sometimes with HPs, you have an easy access panel where you can get to the fan. If your HP is that way, good for you. That makes your whole world a lot easier. Also, if you're finding that you just can't get into your specific uh, model of HP, you can always look up a disassembly video by the model number. Uh, but first of all, the actual process to what we're gonna do to diagnose this problem. So. Now that I have gained access, or I'm going to be able to gain access to my HP, I'm going to remove this bottom panel. Now, one thing that's good to note about removing uh, it is sometimes you remove the bottom panel and the motherboard is on the palm rest, or sometimes you remove the palm rest and it's on the bottom panel, or bottom case is another term for it. All right, so you can see that's my fan. That's the culprit, that's the problem right there. All right, let's get a little closer. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingers and I am going to unplug the fan so we can inspect it a little closer. Also, they usually have two screws holding it down, sometimes some tape. I'm going to move these wires because this one only has one screw. I found this one screw by using a very complicated diagnosing method of tugging on the fan and realizing it won't come up. I know, you're impressed. All right, now take the screw out. And then the fan should come out nice and easily because there's no tape holding this one down. Okay, now you're gonna take your fan and you're gonna give it a look. I'm gonna use a pressurized air blower. You could also use a can of compressed air or a blow dryer set on cool. Sorry, a hair dryer set on cool. I'm just gonna give it a quick blow on the uh, there in the heat sink and remove any dust or particles because sometimes you just get junk in there so that's the first thing to try because it's the cheapest thing to try and then you would plug it back in turn your computer on and see if it's still loud the next thing I would look for after that I'm going to demonstrate it for you is sometimes you have little stickers and pieces of tape that are hitting the fan causing it to make a very loud noise uh, the next thing I would look at for the fan are the wires. The wires sometimes droop down into the fan, causing it to hit it and make a loud noise. So this is the other thing I would check. Now, if you check all these things and your fan is still making a loud noise, you may just need to replace it. Sometimes the fans just break. So you would need to look for this sticker, which it has your HP part number, which will look something like this. It's six digits followed by a dash followed by three digits. And then you can order another fan on eBay. Uh, now, if you can't find that, flip your computer over and look for your model number like this. This is a 250G6. You can also look it up by that on eBay. Just look up HP to, you know, 250G6 uh, fan, and they're actually pretty cheap to replace. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine back. Oh, and as a side note, that fan is not the same fan that goes with this computer. That was just an example. I don't want people ordering the wrong fan for an HP 250G6. But anyway, so I'm going to put my screws back in, and then, as you see, I plugged my fan in first before putting it in. Makes it easier, and I'm putting all the wires back where they were hooked in originally may not seem like a big deal, but it can cause problems, even little internal fires in your computer if you don't uh, put them where they're supposed to be. All right, and so now that I have that done, as you see it's plugged in, all the wires are where they're supposed to be, and it is screwed back in properly. So now I'm going to take my bottom case, and I'm going to put it back on, like so. And then I'm going to secure all the screws back in. So it's really that easy. That's how you fix a loud fan or a fan that is not working. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. 
If you have any questions at all or you think of a great video to like to see from us, go ahead and leave your comments and messages down below and one of our certified technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.